Hey guys, here we are Friday morning. We're in Vegas. Blair and I were just about to go and check out the swap meet. Somewhere there's a swap meet. I think it's over, over there. Uh, excited to see. Maybe we'll find some good rust-free Vegas sheet metal. The weather is not cooperating, but whatever. We'll uh, we'll wander over. We got to go park the cars. We're just cleaning out the last five days of road junk. This is gonna be a great three days, guys. Here we are at the Las Vegas Raceway. We're just heading over to the Swap Beat. They let us park our truck and trailer over there because we're running studded winters and I guess they're illegal in Las Vegas. So these guys here, they brought 18 Mopars here for the Project Car Show. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Guys, this That's is my gear right there, man. This is his right 19, here. What is that? 54? That's like 50. 50 yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool, man. Very cool. Yeah. So, is the weather supposed to get good or what? So, we're looking you know, at. We came a long at way to sit here in a parking lot. Place. Supposed to be rainy. Yeah, we came from California out here to get this weather. I drove eight, I drove 5,000 miles to get here for this. I well, at least you no didn't more. tow nothing, right? <laughs> oh, actually, a trailer. There you it's go. empty now. We actually dropped a 68 Mustang in Saskatchewan on the way out to Toronto. Then we came across in Detroit and oh, boogied here. So right A couple on. of miles, right huh? Well, whatever. Well, I mean, Phil, the guy, puts it on, asked if we could come. Because Toronto's the furthest south that you can get in Canada. So if coming through Vegas and then back up to BC only adds 1,200 kilometers, 800 miles. Only? <laughs> it's only an 800 mile John, so we said, what the hell, why not? Well, we got invited out here to put a little show on yep. with the outlaw gassers that we oh, yeah. are, but... Uh, well, hopefully I'd be in a gas station for three days, you know. No, no. <laughs> Here and I had left. I love it. it. <laughs> Holy Jesus. What year of car is this? It's a 2001. SLK. This is a horny little car. Yep. Wow. Very tail happy. 325s in the rear. Oh, yeah. So you just use it just to just route across here? That's what I built it for. Oh, yeah. I drive oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind, mind if I oh, open the door? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the side bolsters. This thing pulls some lateral G forces. It's, it's fine. Cool. Well, do, do they still make a, Mer a Mercedes with the stick now, or are they all triptronic? Yeah, it's all automatic. It's I, just, I want a stick shift. So. Me too. Like I every car search. I drive no. has a stick. Any one I build with, with an automatic, I sell. There's some nice stuff too. Look at the plum purple one. Silver green, 68. Automatic. Oh, look at that, eh? Nice. Very nice. Hemi. I wonder if it's a real. Wonder if it's a real one. J code. This is a real. This is a real deal. Sorry. Yep. That is one rare car. Pardon my French. And it's an RT. That's beautiful. What ours is gonna look like once you paint it, Blair? Well, is it the same as this? Yeah, that's the same car. '68. Oh. Except ours probably more. Our did was a vinyl top. I don't know if we'll put it back, but I mean, he's got the hubcaps. I think it just. Oh, those are, should have never seen those. That's right. I mean, that's the way it would have come brand new, right? With those skinny little tires. I mean, we are okay with those hubcaps. That's yep. I don't know, but those I've are pretty special. No. Check check out the hubcaps. I'm pretty sure that was a special option, right? Because I've never seen seen them either. But I don't think I ever seen a real if it is a real Hemi Charger, right? Look at this one, another Hemi, if it's a real one. Our code, see, I'm not up, this is like a 70. What, what year is this one? JS, it is an RT. 70, could could be, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not really up on the, on the Hemi codes, because 
because we never see them. But that's an R code. So let's just let's just check that out. 68. We want fifth digit. J code, 426, two four barrels. That one there. Is that yours? Yeah. Look, and we don't see these cars up here. Look at that. Original? Real deal, 100% from nut and bolt from front to back. Well, that's there. why I was just looking at the J code. I says that's, that's a real deal. That's a real deal. And then, oh, and it should be. This car right here. This yes, is, I was looking at that. That's an R code, right? Yeah, and that yeah. one's for sale. Out of my price range. I'm you from can, Canada. A dollar ain't worth You can drive that home today. I drove my Chevelle here 5,000 miles. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, whatever. It's a Chevy. It's not, it's not a Dodge Heavy man. So what's this car worth in American dollars? Oh, man. Oh, 350. $350. No wonder it's for sale. Is that $3.50? Give, give me a deal. 330 <laughs> today. Yeah, it was probably 400000 <laughs> yeah. Canadian. Right. So, so have you owned these since? Since day one or what? Uh, not really, but this one, day one. That one is uh, ready to go. It's a real deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. To him. So you're just waiting for the old guy to kick off. No, 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 it's mine. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> yours? Yeah. Oh, he owns my name. That's mine. Well, that's a cool man. Very cool cars, man. We just oh, don't yeah. we just don't see these up in my place, it's right? On the other side. There's what? Mine's on the other side of the trailer. Okay, well, this go, one is that's a, that's factory color. What's it called? That Everything. color. It's a light green metallic. Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's bright, beautiful. Bright green. Beautiful yeah, car, man. Right. Wow. So is that one. I mean, like, I don't know. It's a, we've got a '68 Charger shell at home. We just did all the metal work on it, but yeah. we'll probably put it. Car? No, no, yeah, it was a 318 yeah. factory air. Yeah, okay. So, so that was pretty That's cool. Nice car, any yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, and then I've got, I've got one of these left. I got two. Seven, I got a '70 Cuda. We got to get to it. Was yeah. tater top car, oh, factory purple. Beautiful. beautiful. But anyway, but yeah. So what's a, what's the gear gears in this thing with the? This is the a 323. This this car was the uh, was a uh, demo car for Las Vegas Dodge. It was ordered as a demo. Oh, cool. Yep. 1968, and uh, they were given rides in it out here on the Florida Highway in Las Vegas Dodge. Really. And a big Hawaiian guy came in, took his ride, came back and says, I, okay, I'll take it. And they said, no, this is not for sale, it's our demo car. And he said, well, I want it, regardless. So he said, well, go talk to the owner, which is Walt Yeah. He owned it. And he came out and made the salesman sell him this car, which it wasn't supposed to sell. Yeah, back then it was what, five grand, 4,500 bucks? Something like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. About but, but with a set of tires and rims is where are these factory up Factory, caps? factory I've never seen these up caps Very before. rare. Yeah. Only on this car. Really? The Hemis. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. that's what we were wondering. Inch, yeah. If you ever see one of those, grab buy it. it. Okay. Grab Blair, it. yep, Hemi only. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, because yeah. we we've just never seen them. Yeah. Beautiful car, sir. That's oh, that's yeah. amazing. Priceless, yeah. right? And you see the license plate says Walt Tepricks, Las Vegas yep. Dodge. That that's, was the original that's dealer? The, that's the original license plate. Very well, original. unreal. Yeah, it's, and this car is totally original. Just as Paint it, even? Everything. So so this car has never been painted? No. This Holy. is brand new. This is an absolutely <laughs> original car. That is stunning. Yeah. Stunning. Well, thank you for sharing that, uh, that, that with us, Mike. Yeah, All my buddies in Canada are going to be drooling. We got a cat that likes it too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah even the cat likes it. Look at that. 26 inch rad, all the good stuff. That's everything, yeah. yeah. Power steering, yeah, power brakes. Yeah, it's got the transmission cooler, Hemi only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hemi only. I've never seen one, I've seen one of those. Yeah. Like, I've had a couple cars with the power steering. Yeah. A little rad right. there. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I'm not even going to touch it. Might, might get it dirty. Probably not. Probably not. I, I and this one's yours? Yeah. yeah. So, when did you get this one? I bought that almost two years ago. A Barrett or? No, no, no. I bought it off a private guy. Oh yeah, uh, and sitting in, in one, his garage. One family, yeah, one yeah, family yeah. owned. Sitting really? In a bubble rotisserie restored. Yeah. Um, it's got quite the quite the little fender tag there. Yeah. Standard brakes. Is that is that that because of the Hemi? You can't get a booster. It's, or? You have to adjust everything so often. Most people take off the the, 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 boot, the booster so you get the valve cover off. All oh, right, yeah, just, just so right. manual. Yo, Marty, is to find a, a power brake booster for Hemi. 
the, the originals? Well, it's an offset. Yeah, yeah, it kind of come, comes oh, out and it, over. It goes up. Oh, yeah, okay. So are these things finicky? I mean, I've, oh, I've yeah. heard a lot. Yeah. I mean, they're very cool. My blooded. 502, like yeah. 8,000 kilometers, we never touched it, but no. I've heard these things a lot of, I mean, that's why they're... they're they're hard to, to start when they're cold. They, well, they don't so, like yeah, my 502 yeah. doesn't like it. Starts off in about four cylinders. <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 blah. Mind you, we have cold. I mean, where we come from, we fire it up at minus. Well, at good temperature, it'd be like 20 degrees. You guys yeah, don't fire this one up. No, at no, 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 no. It sits in a heated garage. It's yeah, it stays till 70 yeah. degrees out. Then, you know, beautiful. Then we fire it off. Beautiful cars. Anyway, thanks. Uh, no thanks problem. for sharing with us, man. If you want to check out something cool and custom, there's one I built. You might appreciate. Okay, show me. What's under the? Oh, what the? F oh, okay, okay. It just clicked in. That, that's like a 69, 60, 66 on a new truck. So and a, and then eventually. and this is like a, like a two ton or something. Isn't uh, it? With the fenders? Yeah, two and a half ton, the four hundred. That's pretty so, sick. It's commercial truck. They never had a bed, so I yeah. with the new Ram C7 Cummins. I made flares to match modern bed to the. Yeah. The okay. Old, so so this is all modern. I cut the doors in half. Yeah. I cut the cab front off and made it a bolt on on yep. this one. That's the original running boards. I extended the fenders. And, and what's under the hood? Six, seven Cummins. All right, oh. new one. Yeah. Here, pop her open. That's brilliant. I didn't get it there for a second. Oh, there. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I see you've, you've upgraded the lights somewhat yeah. too, eh? Yeah, all LED lighting. <laughs> so, how many hours did it take you to do this? 500 hours. 500 to hours. To, to build well, that's, yeah, but still, that's... That's not much compared to somebody doing the rotisserie yeah, restoration yeah, yeah. on that one. It's probably three, four thousand. Yeah. Well, I did my career was I did high end collision repair. So oh, okay, yep, yeah. cool. I was the only Aston Martin Rolls Royce tech in the state. Aston Martin Rolls Royce, yeah, yeah, yeah. What that? Like two hundred bucks an hour, bring it yeah. into the dealer. Yeah, yeah, give, yeah, yeah. Right. No wonder you're grinning. Look at the you yeah. didn't grin on this guy yet. Cool. Actually, I got a buddy that works at a Mercedes dealer, and is that like they they come in as like seven grand to change the cats? It's just insane. If you go to autocross today, check out. I built a custom Mercedes too. Okay. Well, it. are there are they gonna let it let it happen? One o'clock. It, it starts at one. Okay, cool. We will. And what was your name? Mike Cunningham. Oh, Mike. I can remember that. Mike Hall, Blair Smith. Oh, love your show. Hey, well, love and, you. And stop, man. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you very much. This That's is just wild. Okay, I gotta go go look at the other guys on the other side. How's it going, man? Okay, what do you got hiding out here? Nice hat, man. You can you can come jam this car out. Here we go. There you go. I have five of these. Five of them. Five seventy Super Bs and Super. one seventy RT. All right, man. right. I love them. When I was a kid, I thought they were ugly. And then the older I got, everybody but, did. They didn't realize what hey, they were. Hey, I loved it. It was my first car. Really? <laughs> I had two of them. Factory I, plum purple. Oh, there we go. Okay. This I had, is. Had two of these, right? Yeah. And I gave one away. This one. I gave this car to that girl right there. Is she related to you? Grand, granddaughter? Okay, I was going to say, okay. here. I gave it to you when she was 16 to drive to high school. She's 20, uh, what are you now? What did it have, a, a 383 in it then? Yeah. Yeah. No, here, I'll four, show This was a 440 car. Really? Okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to show you something. Um, we're doing one up at, up at my shop right now. There, There's some of the spare parts I had. Yeah. And I'll show you what we're starting with. That's a good way to start, right there. But you know good. what that is? That's a 70 Dana 60 440RT car. Yeah. Factory Sublime. Yeah. Black vinyl top, white upholstery, air grabber, gold wing car. Yeah. So we're going to bring it back. But I mean, yep. so that's the only 70RT, but I do have 570Bs as well. Because well, you got parts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It got parts because you yeah. don't go to the wrecking yard there anymore. You go. yeah, oh, you, you got the, you got the uh, hydro vac. Yeah, hydro vac. Well, where that thing goes, yeah. it's nice to wool, right? Oh, yeah, you got to get it stopped. Nothing scares me more than people that put five, six hundred oars in like a 65 and then they got one brake line. Yeah. Right? Wow. This thing's beautiful. Was it, was it a factory purple car? Yeah, yeah. Factory yeah. FC7, yeah. That's why she wanted it. Yeah, like, and it's I, a factory said, air grabber car too. I said, go pick your car. Yeah. Guess what she picked? Yeah, well, she picked huh? the nicest one, yeah. right, Grandpa? Right. Thanks. Well, was it factory white, white vinyl? Yeah, yeah. It was See, I've got, a, I've got yeah. a 70 that was plum purple it was the yeah. first b i got in factory four speed but it was purple with the black top yeah this is jenna right look at her seat <laughs> jenna b jenna b 
Oh, the seats came out of a 2020 Charger and I had them rewrapped in white leather. Yeah. Oh, this thing's beautiful too. The power seats. So, do you ever light it up, Jenna, or do you just drive it like your dad owns it? <laughs> just a little bit. So, which which Hemi is this? I mean, we, we haven't done one of these swaps yet, but everybody. It's actually a health train engine. I bought. So that's 800 and some horse. Yeah, so I, I actually haven't had a chance to. I got a few things left to do. I've got the AC line left at the bank for it. Yep. I, got, I think I had the horn to hook up, but I'm, I was going to make a custom air box. That's why I got this. Yep. It runs out, so it doesn't okay. suck in the air. Yep. So, so no, it's actually behind the it's actually behind the other headlight. Really? Yeah. Very nice. So you I, are just one, haven't, I just haven't made it yet. She wanted you, to drive You the are car. one lucky girl. Right. Then I got I got to put like the uh, and the, the first time you I got to put the vents in for yeah. the AC still. I mean stupid stuff, but she wanted to drive it. So is she still gonna be your daughter the first time she wraps it around a pole? <laughs> <laughs> it's her car, she's whatever she wants. <laughs> well, you'd be safe, and you put some three-point harnesses in it. It's got a good. No, it has the factory seat belts. <laughs> uh, the ladder. Blair would Blair wouldn't drive across the two continents with me unless we put a three-point harness in the 68. Said so I'll be damned if I'm driving across. Wait, what year, Seville? 68 SS. That's, that's my favorite car. Well, it's it's sitting over in the far corner. Got a 502 crate. What trailer. color is it? Uh, factory uh, quarter van, maroon metallic. Oh, one year only color, kind of like a red yeah. burgundy. Yeah. I, I had a butternut yellow one. Oh yeah, yeah, 68, yeah, butternut yellow. No, well, mine was a real Grand four Brian. speed SS, but not five mine, speed. Mine was a real SS, 396, 375 horse, four speed. Yeah, 13837. Yeah. Yeah, the first five numbers, yeah. Mine was actually made in Canada, so they only made like but I got mine from the original owner. It was sold at Fletcher Jones Chevrolet, originally here. And what'd you do with it? I had sold it when I started my business. I needed money. No. Mine, I've, mine I've had for I've had for 40 years, so yeah. the kid's waiting for me to kick off, and then it's his, but he's he's running an 850 horse Chevelle, so 66, so. Yeah, these swaps are pretty uh, easy to do now. Well, 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 now you can get the whole harness and everything, right? It's just I, like I got the HP90 transmission in it, too. Which is what? The eight speed that came out of the Hellcat Challenger. Oh, really? I like sticks. I'm uh, I, I know, yeah. but it was an automatic car. Yeah, so. yeah. So, and then at least she's not she's not burning as much rubber, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I told you. Anyway, th thanks for sharing, man. Beautiful uh, car. Said lucky girl. Mine's in the back. What's yours? Oh, hey, we haven't even made it there yet. Another one. Let's go. Oh, here we go. 1970 GTX. Factory grabber car. Factory grabber car. Yeah. I sold an old guy. He had one. I had this hood. I bought one for 400 bucks. And the guy, this old guy came and says, Mike, I got an air grabber GTX. So I sold him the hood. I regret it. There we go. Is this a real Hemi car as well? It's a no. 40 car. Who cares? That's right. That's it's a Hemi now, I, I right? Got, I, got the, I got the engine for 500 bucks at the yard sale. A Hemi for 500 swear, bucks? Swear to God, it's your story. You're a liar. Swear, <laughs> swear. 500 bucks. They, they told me the block was junk. Oh, and they it said wasn't? Some, somebody cut the motor mount ears off of it. So what'd you do? Weld them back on? Hemis don't have motor mount ears. They're mounted on the bottom of the block. Oh, okay. See, I I I bought a uh, what do you call it? Like a, like uh, a mega block off a guy once. He phoned me up and said you need a mega block. So so some of them you can buy had them yep. for like the 440 mounts, but real Hemis have them on the bottom, bottom of, of the uh, okay of the block. There's three bolt holes on the bottom. So of the what block. year of, of that, Hemi is? That's it? a '67. It's a C motor. Okay. Yeah, because I've I've got a D for like I bought a. A dirt drag car, and the guy was going to make a super stock out of it. So I, I have like, an extra, uh, I have an extra D Hemi block at the, at the house. Oh yeah, well you're saving it for. And, then, and I actually got uh, one of the uh, world mega blocks too. Yeah, but they aren't as good as the real. Or they, well, you can do a big motor with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, the smallest, well the smallest one that you could do with mine was like a 508 or a 512 or yeah. something. We, we were running the numbers. You can do a six something with that one. I yeah. think you can go like a 460 board. Factory black car. Yeah, factory black, black on black uh, with a, a yellow reflective stripe. I think they only made nine black cars in, uh, in 70 on GTXs. Yeah. And it's the only one with a yellow reflective stripe. Very rare. So what's what's this thing valued at? I mean, even as a clone, it's worth. Oh, I got the original numbers matching yeah. motor. Oh, okay, but still. 100K? Yeah. American. That's like 140 yeah. in our uh, Probably, yeah. Anyway, beautiful stuff funny you guys money. have, man. That's funny <laughs> money, Canadian money. Anyway, thank you guys very much for the uh, time, man. No beautiful problem. stuff. Well, it was worth the drive. Yeah. It was worth the drive. see this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of my cars here. I told him he had to kick any car out of my lot. Where's your lot? Can I come uh, and pick uh, one too? Look, look what he picked. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. 
like father, like daughter. I'm yeah, saying, right, 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 right. Just ripping the old guy off. I, I know. <laughs> hey, I've never learned, right? Yeah. Well, whatever. Hey, hey. at the end, all you got is friends that's and family, it. right? It. Everything yeah, else right. is just stuff. Yeah. Right. I've never seen it looking like this if I kept it or that one. Exactly. Well, that's so. It. They yeah. obviously went right. to good homes. Yeah. Well, you guys are. Very special family, very okay, special well, cars, man. Thank you very much for your time. Going back, what part of Canada? British Columbia. British Columbia. But we had to go to a show in uh, Toronto, so we went all the way. We hit that wow. storm there that they had in, uh, yeah. in Nebraska, so three days of blizzard. Then we got to Toronto three days there, then we got hassled at the border in Detroit. Uh -huh. And then it took us three and a half days, hair straight back to get here. So we basically driven across both continents. Right, well, so, both countries. So you wanted to go to this show? Yes. Well, yeah. they well they asked us to come because it's a it's a fundraiser, right? So oh. Phil that puts the show on. Right. You know. He saw Phil. us at SEMA yeah. last. Because right. I mean, where where we were in Toronto is the furthest south that you get in Canada. Right. Yeah. So to come right across to right. go to Vegas and then right. go home, go. it adds 800 miles. Yeah. So I said, well, what the hell? We're on our trip. Hell? You got to go anyway. That's right. right. So yeah. hopefully we get we don't get any snow going home. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to clear up a little bit. This will be blown out by the hey, time you go. I've got the only set of, of uh, Blizzak tires in Vegas, I know. <laughs> you, you, you won't need them. Okay, and what was your name again? Up. Doug, Doug Reynolds. D Doug Reynolds, yep. pleasure, sir, and beautiful okay. cars. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. Hey guys, we're at the Speed, tri uh, speed Tech uh, uh, performance truck here. I guess these guys are, are vendors here at the show. These guys were nice enough to supply Connor with all the suspension upgrades for our 66 Chevelle project, the one we did with a supercharged LT. So uh, since we're here, we're gonna talk to them. I hear they started to make some uh, Mopar parts now so you could upgrade your Mopar suspension. So, uh, I mean, you're dealing with 60 year old technology. There are, there are better ways to make your Mopar handle. I know for the purist, it's sacrilege, but some of the stuff we start with, an upgrade is, is an upgrade. So I'm just gonna have a little chat with them and. Uh, See, see what they uh, they got going. You never know. Going. Not too bad. How you doing, man? Good. You guys sponsored my kid's car, I think. Oh, we did. Connor, are they on Rust Valley? Oh yeah. You know, Rogers actually. Uh, I got to go get Roger. He's actually uh, coming in. Good, cause we're doing some money. It's more free. Money, you guys. All right. My kid. Awesome. Yeah. No. Yeah. He, you guys gave us all that the coil overs and all the speed tech for '66 Chevelle with the Magnuson supercharger. Awesome. Awesome. He's pushing 850. Those are the guys that started in Canada and then they came yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah, right. okay, yeah. You're yeah. right, right. I'm called the driver. I'm also part of sales and marketing. Oh, cool. S&M. <laughs> We're actually uh, owned by QA1. Well, they're yeah. a big fish, so I'm sure you guys can afford to play now. It was pretty awesome. Excellent. Show they're, me the money. They're, they're good guys. They're good. Well, cool, customers. because like I said, I mean, we're, we're doing right now, we're doing up a 70 Chevelle rag that's a clone for a 454. We bought the car, then it got repoed because it was stolen, and then I had to buy it back for twice what I paid for it. Right. And we're doing up a 70 Cornet RT, uh, 440 four speed gain of 60 car. I know you guys are starting to do some Mopar. But we're doing a bunch of Mopar where you're taking the whole uh, the whole body and stick it back on the frame. We must all the auto cross, okay? Tell the autocrossers like their tires got almost no tread, right? They're really smooth. 70, 71, I get them mixed up. They're 70. Yeah, yeah. First year of this body style. Yeah. Nice rag. I like convertibles. It was my dad's, so. Oh, really? He bought it brand new. Well, what's the run of the 350 or the big one? Oh, it's the 450. It's the oh. 442. Yeah. Yeah, cool. It's, uh, it thumps. So it's a real 442, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. People build clones out of everything. Yeah. Man. Obviously, you redid the the upholstery. Well, yeah, I had to do that. that yeah, was, well, uh, after 50 <laughs> years. I mean, yeah. Well, the the pasture seat was probably pr pristine, but yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're doing it, so is that is that like legendary or PUI or legendary? Was, yeah, yeah. We we went to order some for a 70 uh, B. I'm doing 14 months. Wow. 14 months wait, right? Because it's a yeah. uh, burnt orange. They're okay. the only guys that make it, so it's a pretty rare car, burnt orange. I'm very Nice ride, man. So Thank you, you put lots of miles on it. Uh, I I take it to a lot of shows. Dad yeah. put a lot of it. It's got it's been used. It's uh, 120,000 miles on it, so it's and everything's stock. So yeah. lights them up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. So uh, 455. <laughs> so that what like 500 foot pounds of torque, 520 yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. She's a grunter. Oh yeah. Cool. Nice ride. Thank Too you. bad you don't have the top down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, if it's nice, it'll be not. It'll. Yeah. It'll be for there. sure, man.
We're yeah. just doing a, doing up a 70, a, a Chevelle rag. We're cloning it as an SS. It's okay. Came with a 12 bolt and a big block hood, right? So, yeah, they only they only imported 350 70 Chevelle rags into Canada. So okay. It's still a rare car. Yep. Anyway, nice ride, man. Thank Thanks you. for sharing it with Thank us. Thank you. Ted Warthog went by. That's the one with the cannon that just and two of them went straight up. What? My uh, Chevy Love. That's one of the baddest Chevy Loves in the well, what's it doing? Is it, is it here for drags? Yeah, or drag drive? racing, dog. Oh, well, yeah. we're, just, you know, we're just going for breakfast. Yeah. I'm tired of walking I'll around. I'll take you to there's... breakfast and get the motor on. Oh, what do you want? Bacon and eggs? Yes. <laughs> I ain't got no bacon. I got eggs. Oh, so you're just uh, so, so you're just in the Jets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Jets. Yeah. When I say squirter, I'm thinking NOS. No, no, no. No, no this is all just all fuel. All just natural. It's all so, natural. So, so how many cubes is this? Uh, you're a 385 Dart. It's all Dart. All aluminum, just but yep. just meant for racing. Yep. It's not straight. So, yep. what does it run for top end horsepower? Top end, you're probably about five, five hundred, five fifty. Okay, that's about as my big block Chevelle, except yeah. it takes 502 cubes. Two, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right on, and so what is it, Norm? Norm is this eighth mile here or quarter? No, quarter. So, quarter. So, so is this thing running the quarter? Uh, we're probably at low tens, 1039. And that's, you do it consistently, yeah, or do you ever break out? No, or? I'm consistent. How's the track? Is it sticky no, today? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful today. Well, right on, but so I mean, so. So qualifying's today and tomorrow? We know qualifying will be today. We'll get three runs today, and then tomorrow we go into rounds. We'll go into the Okay, limit. and then you eliminate, and then Sunday, Sunday they, all day the finals. All out. Yeah. Well, good luck. All right, brother. Okay, and, and this is a what? Outlaw Love Chevy Chevy Love truck, 1974. Which is Chevy Love. So yep. it's like it, 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 this thing came with a four banger? Yeah, 40 horsepower. 40. 40 horsepower. Now it's pushing about 440 yeah, four, more, yeah. 10 times more. Yep. Well, good luck, man. Thank Appreciate you, my it. brother. You Beautiful. Have a good day. Okay, Thanks. so what's the drill? You got park it here, roll up your windows, and we start cleaning it. Okay. <laughs> How long? Like we just walk away and we'll come back? Or we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll probably 30, 30 minutes, we'll be done. Okay. Hey, guys, we're here at the Vegas Raceway. Uh, Jen Dell and Mark, they've taken pity on me. They said they can make the old girl look good again. So um, uh, we're gonna drop it off in their trusted hands. What's your company called? Uh, Total Restoration Detailing. Okay, what's your phone number? 702-241-3716. Uh, okay, we're gonna give her a walk around and here's what it looks like now. Oh, see that road salt? Okay, I know you guys ate. Can you guys fix the rust on the back bumpers while you're here? Uh, I'll poke it out. <laughs> Right. All the girls think he looks like Ron Jerry. You know what we call him in Canada? Short strokes. <laughs> you tell her that. Thanks a lot, man. All right. So what year is this out of? Like 64 or what is yeah. it? With yeah. This? Yeah. Six, yeah. 64 Fury. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like a C body. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What year is that fender on? That's 65 and down? Yeah, but what year is 65? What year is that fit? Oh, 65 to 71. Yeah, yeah. The reflector, on the 69th, they put the reflector right there. So what's that worth? I'm out of curiosity. I wish our dollar was worth something. That's off a soup. That's duster. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll come back. I mean, I need a set of fenders. For, I got a 69 crew cap. Military from a short box. Step side, one ton, four by. I know, but I'm doing a... Somebody else has one over there, too. I've got... So this is a driver's... Driver's side. I just might come back later, see how hard up you are. Oh, my God. <laughs> can I get a picture of you? Sure you can. No, you won't just boot. Oh, okay, hang on. First thing first. Oh, can you take my... Here, here. Yeah, I got you. You're I just, got long enough arms. You're just a little vertically challenged there, huh? I see you on YouTube. 
of all time. Okay, while well, we're here, my car just has some detail in it for me. They put pity on it. We're about to get run over by Dodge. Um, we got the Black Betty. What, yeah. what, it must be a Ford. It's a Ford Mustang. Yeah. It'll what be year? Crazy. I'm not sure what year it is. It's my son in law. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going in the autocross and the drag racing. Yeah. Which one? Drag racing. Okay, well, we'll be seeing them when they start doing time trials. Looks like the track's drying out. Pleasure meeting you, ma'am. Nice meeting you. Take care. Hey, guys, we're here at the Speed Tech booth. We're looking at your name again? Roger. Roger. Explain what we have going on here, buddy. Uh, so this, this, this is a full frame for Chevelle. Uh, this is our extreme line. Uh, with these frames, um, you're going to be able to get your vehicle uh, in a, on a street situation. It's gonna feel very predictable, very, very good. You're gonna to wanna to hit the gas and when you get into a corner instead of you breaking. Know, breaking into a corner. Um, and then of course, with the performance side of what we do, uh, you can get this on a track and really enjoy being on an autocross, autocross or, yep. or something like that. So for old guys like me that wanna drive the crap out of their cars yes, but not do 200 miles an hour. You got it, so this what's, is for you. What's the difference between this chassis and I know someone said you guys have started to make ones for the Mopars. Yes, Mopars. So is it just a flatter chassis? Yeah, so the Mopar has the same front uh, geometry, yep. same front um, setup as this one here. Just the mounting points are gonna be different than what you see in a Chevelle full full chassis like this. So is the price for the Chevelle the same as the price for a Mopar? Is there a slight difference? There's a slight that? difference because there's a little less in the Mopar because we're using part of the frame of the Mopar. Oh, okay, yeah, where, where this is all basically you pull your, like I could take my 68 Chevelle and bolt it on here. Yes. Geez, we might have to make a deal for two of these. <laughs> That's gonna be a good thing. Yes. <laughs> We do we do multiple chassis for multiple cars. Okay, I noticed that the vets run this. What's the, what's the beauty of having this uh, torque this is a, arm? This here. is a torque arm rear suspension. The idea with the torque arm rear suspension is it's a basically a three link design. One two three. Right. So you've got your trailing arms and you got your torque arm, so that when you get into corners, there's no chance of uh, binding. The articulation is very very good. So everything will move proper rather than a four link setup where a four link setup everything has a real hard time trying to articulate to try to make yeah, the corner yeah, yes so, so so this it's actually simpler and it works correct. better and you'll see it in a lot of like the gm third gen camaros yeah, and, um, and, and then we do and, it on and, this. and the old vets i noticed have the torque arm uh, right? that's slightly different configuration that's a little bit different yeah yeah, yeah than this one here but yeah so we've we've launched the torque arm it's been absolutely fantastic and then we've got the irs which is the the cat the independent rear suspension, suspension. um and that's the next level and, and so the only I mean, thing well, better than this okay so what's the difference in, in lateral g-force between this i'm sure you guys have done some tests <laughs> so is there what's yeah the, depending what's the i mean there's uh, lateral g is well, a really a tough one because yeah. it depends on the track conditions and the tires as well but i mean if you had this and then you had the irs same so, track same tires which what, what, what well you know you're going to get more traction out of the irs yeah. because the irs is independent side to side so the tire will stay flatter on the ground during hard cornering where this no matter what you've got a solid axle so your whatever happens to one side is going to affect the, the other, other side where's the other you know, and will not keep the tire as flat as you would an irs so what's the difference in price between the torque arm versus the irs so this was just about uh just over twenty thousand. that with the independent rear it's about thirty-one thousand. so a big difference big difference and you get a lot out of the IRS as well. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you can, looks like you get a lot out of this. Correct, yeah, well, this as is opposed amazing. to 1970. Oh, absolutely yeah. amazing, yeah. The, the stuff we do. Well, it uh, looks absolutely yeah. amazing, okay. Thank you. I will be talking to you. Oh, look, Sounds it looks good. like a convertible, it's boxed. Yeah, it looks like, that's right. You can use that convertible or hard top. Well, I actually have, a, have one of your uh, boxing kits. We're gonna put it on our 66. Yeah, yeah that's really popular. Yes, that, boxing that with the tranny you'll, mountain. You'll see what we did. You see those internal gussets in the frame? Yes. Those are welds in the frame. There's are plates that are welded in there that our engineers have put in so that nothing flexes except the suspension. Yeah, because so the suspension yeah. do the work for you, not the frame flex. Because I know my 68 SS, when I got it, it had an L78 in yeah. it. There was about 30 welds, they did like yeah. cracks. They welded up just, from, right. just from the twist on oh, the frame. Oh yeah, absolutely. They put more horsepower than with it. Suspension good handle. You got it, yeah. Thank you, thank yeah, you for your you time, man. No Six stuff. Thank Sounds you very good. much. Thanks, guys. That's sick. They were all designed after cars, all the pedal cars. Yeah. So, what year is this? Like 71? 1960. 
Well, how can it be a well, super V? Okay, come on, don't, don't blow smoke up my... How can it be well, a... I'm trying to see if you know what you're talking about. Well, I've got 570 Super Vs. It's a 70. see you on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, glad you're watching. Pleasure yeah. meeting you guys. How's hey. it going? All right, Robert, Mike. Come on, thanks. Yeah. I've got one put in this one and the other one. I've actually got one of the snap-on ones, the, the newer ones with the, like, the bond with the Roadster. Uh-huh. Anyway, I bought that in an auction. Oh, nice. What do you got? Magazine. <laughs> You're right, I've never seen those at a boat bar show. If you look real hard, you'll find me on the cover of a couple of them. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, baby. Look at that. Too bad the sun is in China. I know. Our rim's brand new because we flat one coming down. Is that where I hit that uh, sagebrush? What? What are you looking at? <laughs> All the rock chips. Really? Oh. See that? This. That is a badge of honor. This. And this. Oh, no, look no, at that. No. Hey, oh, you know, know what's important, Mike? What? You know when you open your door? Yeah. What you're running your door into. What the hell are those? That's pilot error. Pilot error. Anyway, Jendel, the car looks amazing. You guys do quick work for cheap. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, bud. And the name of your company is? Total Restoration Detailing. Total Restoration Detailing based out of Las Vegas, yes, Nevada. Are. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate no it. Have you been to all this before? Have you been down here Well, before? we came to SEMA once. That was the first time I've been in the States in almost 50 years. Oh, I had no some issues did. as a kid, so. Okay. So we got that straightened out, so now I'm allowed in. But when we went, when we came from Toronto, we, we went over the Ambassador Bridge into a, a Detroit, right? Yep. Well, they're filming for National Geographic. But they see me coming. Oh, they just they go over there. I declared too much money, so they drag me in. And <laughs> they're all filming it. I'm telling them, you guys should check the producer. It's a property search. So anyway, and they're counting all my 20s because we were selling T-shirts. I had a stock. <laughs> and I'm looking at you. I said, you must have sold a lot of dope to count them 20 so far. <laughs> well, it was just a, then they said, go ahead, Mike, do a burnout when you leave. So there I am at Customs, a U.S. Customs, they're telling me to do a burnout. So it was only a short one because there was concrete barricades. I feel feet, you but still, anyway, it was cool. A lot of beat. We broke the original uh, turn signal thing in the column. We stopped at Thunder Bay, Ontario. They had an old auto wrecker, Avery's buddies. Boom, we were on the way in an hour. Wow thing keeps them every time we push the, the wiper switch is like playing Russian roulette we don't know if it's gonna work or not so we had squeegees and a pressurized bottle and it just there's a it's, there's a defect so you hit it and it starts working so then when it rains we pull over we hit it till it works and then we keep driving so whatever <laughs> we got squeegees like our washer bottle we got one of them pump bottles we stick it out the window yep. and, oh yeah oh Guys, I know it doesn't really look like it. This car obviously started out as a 70 Chevelle. Four fifty-four. Nineteen seventy. I don't know if it's a fiberglass body or what, but it looks like it started out as a real, as a real car. That's an extensive modification to it. Very cool. The day we left, it came across all three provinces. So we spent three days driving in that. It normally takes four days to get to Toronto. It took us six. Oh, we made it. I think it was about 10 years ago, someone from Idaho or Montana came down with a trailer to Superbird, but they hit ice and there was an accident and it damaged the Superbird yeah. in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. On the way down here, so much ice. Well, that's well, we went across Saskatchewan. It was black ice and freezing yeah. rain. We had to stop and chip a half inch ice off of the window. <laughs> like fun, the heater fun, doesn't fun. the heater doesn't work, so Avery plugged his side. I mean it works so I mean I'm driving through a hole like this, gunched down on the <laughs> wheel and semi That's, oh my, that's oh the my. reason right there that we no longer live we in Ohio. We yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well I know scraping it's the window. Yeah, yeah, well, oh yeah. yeah. If you get an opportunity, the spring fling next month in April down in LA, it's in Van Nuys, it's in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah. That's the best Mopar show west of the Mississippi. Well, we're gonna, I'll be back at work. I'll be hanging on a cliff for yelling at my guys. So, mm -hmm. I just in July, it. we fly across the country to Chrysler's at Carlisle. Carlisle, I've heard that, because yeah. see, in August, 
We're supposed to be in Halifax doing ah, a car cool. show. Okay. So instead of me driving all that, I mean, now that I've driven from here to Toronto, I still want to make it to the East Coast, but I might just hop on a train, freight that out to Toronto, yes. and then pick it up. Yeah. But just because the four days yeah. getting to Toronto is just... It just kills you. Make I mean, it easy on yourself. Yeah. You're not 29 hey, anymore. Man, why is he driving this the that whole way? That was day two. Holy crap. Where's Avery at? <laughs> right here somewhere. Right there. I know. No, actually, we dropped him off at St. George's oh. for the tow truck 4x stuff. So yeah. he's, he's more into that than race cars. But oh, he right should on. be here tomorrow. Awesome. So, yeah, you'll hear him before you see him. Okay, good. <laughs> Thanks, Very nice Mike. meeting you guys. You have a great day.